I would say Jim is the most aggressive president that we've ever had. He's always looking for new ways to do things. So any organization he touches benefits from his association with it. Jimmy Latham is president of Tuscaloosa-based WAR Construction Company, and he has been active in AGC for more than two decades. Jimmy certainly must have gotten a lot out of AGC because he sure put a lot into it. So he's been with uh, a leader in the uh, uh, Tuscaloosa section for a very, very long, long time. He's been on our board of directors uh, a long time in the uh, state board. Uh, sticks out in my mind most is that Jimmy was uh, a long time uh, trustee on a workers comp program. I, I guess Jimmy's done that in excess of 20 years and that program has been very successful and he's one of the reasons why. Uh, I don't think you can put a price on what AGC does for you and uh, ever, ever retiring, ever slowing down, I think he and I will be serving together with AGC for many years to come. He's been an officer for the West Alabama section, as well as state secretary, treasurer, and vice president, and now president in some difficult times. Uh, with Jimmy's leadership and, and the board's uh, uh, willingness, uh, uh, we, we didn't back down from any projects. We took them all on and um, had, a, I think, a very good year. AGC was served well to have him at the helm this year with all of the uh, the tough economy as well as the tornadoes in his hometown. But we just had so many people willing to, uh, to work and contribute time and money. Um, he was a man that, that thinks on his feet and moves fast and uh, he responded well and represented us well and everything that he did. Jimmy's innovative spirit even affected the way AGC conducts its day-to-day -day business. We had our first electronic board meeting this year uh, under under Jimmy's leadership. Our relationship with Auburn University, we're starting a research center on a piece of property we have down in Russell County. Where should we put the dam and where should we move the roads? And I said, boy, this would be great for uh, Auburn University, you know, students down there to tell me these kind of things. And I mentioned it to Jimmy and he just jumped all over it. Tonight, AGC members want to recognize Jimmy's impact as president. Jimmy was definitely a great choice for president, and it was the right man at the right time. Jimmy, you're, you're uh, full of more changes than any president that, that we've ever had. I just want to say, Jimmy, job well done. Uh, thanks for keeping me engaged. Jimmy, roll tide, and thanks for playing a role in getting both of my daughters uh, down to Auburn University. And by the way, I would also like to thank Jimmy. Last year, he showed you all some of my junior high and high school pictures. Well, as it turns out, I kept my yearbooks as well. So here's a more personal look at the humble beginnings of President Jimmy Latham. Jimmy was always very fashionable. At the age of one, he tied his own bow tie, an impressive feat even for AGC's own Bill Caton. Plaid was Jimmy's friend. Ah, it was the perfect match to his growing animal magnetism, which could be felt even over the airwaves. Jimmy was a bell-bottom babe magnet whose coolness could only be tamed by one person. And even though calmed by married life, no one at the office could sport mutton chop sideburns like Jimmy, and his mastery of plaid earned him the title Prince of Polyester. <laughs>